Okay, I finished up both the 67 Super 12 and the 68 Super 12. I really like the way these came out. I've always liked these tractors. I do like the 68 a little bit better just because the dash and steering wheel I really like. And this particular one, I mean, I have so many of these tractors and this one steers way different than any of them. I don't know how to explain it. It turns really easy. I'm not sure why. Um, like that one there turns normal, but it's whatever. Um, anyway, uh, the paint on these is custom color that I had mixed. It's automotive paint. Uh, three coats of paint, two coats of clear. It looks so cool. I really like it. Um, has a slight tint of green that you can kind of see. Otherwise, it's basically just blue. Uh, just like on how the factory would have done them. It's an exact match. Um, the reason the engine shroud on this one is white is because I ran out of blue paint. And uh, the replacement engines that some of these ended up with uh, just about when they were new were white. So I'm like, well, the closest color would be white. And I actually think it looks pretty good in there. Um, that one is a Predator 212. And this one here is a Lanson 212. But they're both actually the same engine. They're both Lantins. Um, so 7 horsepower. Um, I did a somewhat bad job on making these white seats. Um, so basically I took the original seat pan that was on these. And I just put some about 2 inch or so thick foam on them. Got some uh, white vinyl. And I took some really short self tapping screws. And I carefully just screwed them in there. And then made these seats. This one I did a much better job on than that one. But they're not, you know, great. But over time, you know, if somebody's sitting on here and whatever, it'll probably de-wrinkle a little bit. I know there's some people out there that's actually made the, the stitching and stuff in them, but I'm not gonna do that. That's that's beyond me. I don't I don't do upholstery. Um this one steers really nice compared to like all of the rest of them I have. It steers super super easy. I have no idea why. Um, I have so many of these that you'd think that I would have seen that before, but that one just spins, turns really easy. I wish I could do that again on another one. Uh, the hoods came out, you know, pretty decent. This one here has a rust hole right there, and there's a hole somebody drilled. There's a rust hole on the side. I mean, they're not, they're not trying to be perfect. I mean, the tires have lots of cracks in them. I mean, they look perfect from a good, good distance, but... I mean, it's trying to trying to make something that I don't know how to say it, but it's trying to make something that's ugly look good. It's like putting lipstick on a pig, I guess the saying goes. So uh, this one I kept the original dash because it was too nice for me to cover up and ruin. So I just left the original uh, wood grain dash. I couldn't couldn't uh, couldn't redo that one, so I just left it and. Uh, Super 12 on this side, uh, decals I left original, and the other ones are all faded and ugly, so I just made some whatever decals that work, and they look somewhat decent. This one got a steering wheel cap that I borrowed off of another one. Actually, it's not really borrowed, it's more of like a permanent. But anyway, here are some pictures and some videos of both of these tractors. <laughs>